Hello and welcome to this 10-minute yoga practice for hip pain. My name's Joelle, and we'll begin by placing our feet flat on the ground and lifting the hips up into a bridge, squeezing the glutes. And today we'll be holding most of our poses for around 30 to 45 seconds with a combination of stretching and strengthening postures in order not only to relieve the pain in our hips, but also to help protect our hips from further inflammation. I have dealt with chronic hip pain myself. I know how frustrating it can be, so good for you for turning up today. And please do listen to your body, never pushing into anything that doesn't feel quite right, and taking a break if necessary. As we slowly lower the hips down, Cross the right ankle over the left knee and use both hands to gently pull that right knee towards the left shoulder. So pulling in a diagonal motion. And you could keep the left foot planted or you might like to lift up just that heel coming up onto the ball of the left foot, perhaps intensifying that stretch just a little bit. And you can close the eyes here. I encourage you to turn into your breath. And let's release that and we'll simply switch sides with the left ankle over the right knee. Hugging the left knee in towards the right shoulder and maybe lifting up onto the ball of the right foot. This is a wonderful posture to Release the piriformis. Take pressure off of the trochanteric bursa. And think about sending your deep breaths anywhere that you feel the stretch. Left hip, left glute. Wherever it's most needed. And we'll slowly release that. Bring the soles of the feet together now and the knees out wide into a butterfly. And we'll widen the feet just a couple of inches and start lifting and lowering the hips, squeezing the glutes together every time you lift up. So in these little butterfly hip bridges, we may not be lifting very far, but by activating the entire region around the hip muscle, we're doing our best to protect it. And you could think about lifting on every inhale. And let's take one more. And then use the hands to help bring the knees back towards each other. We'll come towards banana pose. So bringing both legs over towards the left side of the mat, maybe crossing right ankle over left ankle and taking hold of the right wrist with the left hand. So we're making a banana shape with the body, with the hips towards the right and the feet, upper body and arms all over towards the left. Opening up through the entire right side of the body here and hopefully feeling a really nice stretch towards the outside of that right hip. And let's gently shift our way back to center, bringing the hips over towards the left now. And again, creating that banana shape towards the right with the upper and lower limbs. The feet can stay side by side or perhaps Cross the left ankle over the right and maybe holding on to the left wrist with the other hand. Again, directing breath and energy towards the left hip now. Thanking yourself for turning up and understanding that your hips are getting stronger and healthier as you come back to this practice. Let's release that banana shape now, extending both legs out in front, flexing the feet, and let's start walking in place here. So lifting one straight leg, 
and then alternating to lift up the other leg. And it's not about how high we lift. What we're looking for here is to activate through those hip flexors in the front of the thigh. Again, another strengthening move here. Taking things at your own pace. Maybe linking breath to movement. And now let's simply cross the right knee over the left knee and we'll pull both knees in towards the chest. And you might like to hold on to them with the arms, giving yourself a little hug here in this shoelace pose. You can also slide the hands down and hold on to the feet if that's more comfortable. And just noticing where you feel this stretch. Releasing any tension in the upper body, the face, the jaw, the shoulders. And release that, keeping the legs crossed. We'll simply let them fall over towards the left. And you can keep the head turned towards the ceiling. The arms can come out to the side or maybe to goalpost arms. See if you can keep that right shoulder down. So it doesn't matter how far the knees go over towards the left. It's more about just feeling a gentle twisting sensation through the spine. And again, opening up into that right hip. And if hip pain is a regular problem for you, then I would recommend coming back to these postures on a regular basis as we shift our way back to center now. Crossing left knee over right and hugging both knees in, holding on anywhere you'd like. I will also put a link in the description box below to a series of further practices I've created for hip pain. You're welcome to discover all of them and see what works best for you. Really nice. And this time we'll bring both knees still crossed over towards the right. Keeping that left shoulder grounded. Coming back to the breath. Inhaling and exhaling deeply to calm the nervous system. All of our postures today are supine. So designed to be a really gentle way to take care of yourself. And I do hope that this practice today will bring you some relief. Let's lift the knees back towards center, uncross those legs. Take a moment to reset the body, inhaling and exhaling here. And then bring the legs together, pull the knees in towards the chest, and then tap the toes back down. We're repeating this motion here, a little bit of ab work, a little bit of work for the hip flexors once more, strengthening the entire area around the hips. Pulling the knees in, and letting the toes kiss the mat with control. And let's release that motion. Toe heel the feet apart to the outer edges of the mat and simply let the knees fall in together. You might like to rest the hands on the belly just to help yourself tune into those waves of breath. Closing the eyes if you haven't already, feeling the lower back. Sink into the mat, letting everything go, our last stretch for today, reminding ourselves that this too shall pass. 
And you're welcome to stay in this knock-kneed position as long as you would like. If you did enjoy this practice, then please do take that split second to hit the like button. And make sure to subscribe to be notified for my next video. Ten minutes can make a difference to our bodies and minds, even if sometimes that's all we've got. Thank you so much, everyone, and have a wonderful day.